Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be talking about Twitter. Now I've talked about Twitter a few times and basically every time I talk about Twitter, it's never good news. This time we are not going to be talking about Elon Musk purchasing Twitter because I know that that has caused some waves already some repercussions, people impersonating Elon Musk, people getting suspended for impersonating him. All of that's going on. If you want me to talk about that, we can just let me know down in the comments below. What we are going to be talking about today is far more urgent and is going to be kind of a continuation of our Twitter conversation here on this channel because for years now, for years, the pedophiles on Twitter have gone unchecked. They've been doing unspeakable things between contacting minors, between grooming minors, getting pictures of minors, finding minors who sell pictures of themselves. All of these disgusting, depraved, deranged, unimaginable things have been going on and we've been aware of that and nothing has been done which is real interesting because of all the things that should be monitored on an app, you'd think that that would be higher up on the priority list. Yet here we are years later and I am still screaming at my camera for something to be done. As we've known throughout the years, there have been communities of adults and unfortunately communities of minors as well who have been seeking each other out. Now, obviously I'm not going to blame children for thinking, oh, I'm attracted to adults, blah, blah, blah. They don't understand the implications of that. I don't expect them to. I think it's a parent's job to monitor their children in a healthy way as much as they can and warn them about the dangers of being online and the fucking creeps that are online. There is a new hashtag or two new hashtags rather that I've been alerted of that are GAK, which is grownups attracted to kids, and KAG, Kids Attracted to Grownups. Now, a lot of the posts seem to have both, as if they're the same, which I guess in a way they are similar. They're not identical. The thing is that I unfortunately checked the tag very briefly until I realized the situation. Those two hashtags are used basically for everyone. Whether it's a kid attracted to grownups or grown up attracted to kids, they'll probably put both hashtags. So I'm telling you now, do not look it up. If you happen to come across that hashtag in some way, report immediately, no matter what, report it, whether it's to alert that an adult is being fucking creepy and a pedophile, or if it's to shield a child from potentially getting roped into God knows what, just report, okay? This hashtag is very similar to a not safe for work hashtag. Contrary, obviously, to not safe for work hashtags though, not safe for work content is consensual in the sense of you are old enough to consent to put that out there and it's not illegal for you to put that out there. So you're of age and you know, potentially your sex worker, potentially you do this on the side. None of that really matters aside from the fact that you're of age and you're consenting to do that. However, again, here we have the same problem we consistently run into of a continuously growing market of child pornographic material. And what is very concerning about all of this is I was looking at these hashtags for a very brief amount of time because you'll quickly realize that these hashtags almost always include immediate graphic content that you don't want to see. So all of the advertisements are almost immediately including photographs, videos, so on and so forth, just like that. So it is extremely abrupt and it's already out there to be consumed without contact. So it's not even a question of DM me for prices, DM me for whatever, which doesn't make it automatically better, but I'm just saying it's very immediately accessible like that, which not only is dangerous for grooming reasons, for pedophiles to find potentially your location, things like that, but also because this material being so easily accessible is not only, like I said, that it's disseminated easily so that it can be 
uploaded, re-uploaded, sent, just there's a variety of ways it can be distributed which are completely out of control. Not only that, but it will be traumatizing and re-traumatizing for the poster of such content, especially if it is a child posting themselves. Needless to say, whether it's in weeks, months, or years, that might still be circulating, they might come across it again, or even if they never see it again, knowing that it's potentially out there will be extremely anxiety-inducing, stressful, and a whole series of other things. On top of that, if this content is that easily accessible, a lot of people, a lot of pedophiles might get their hands on it, and there will be no way to trace them because they could literally save it without even having a Twitter account. That's how easy it would be, even maybe coming up on Google searches, as opposed to if it were behind a paywall, at least there would be a way to trace back to the person who purchased that type of content, confirming that they in fact are pedophiles, confirming that they in fact are in possession of child sexual exploitative material. All of these things are things that would hold up in court, whereas things that are just posted out there could come into some random person's hands any which way. And then it's automatically harder to prove that they were the ones looking for it compared to actually having a receipt. The main reason I'm talking about this aside from the fact that obviously this is all very disturbing and something has to be done in terms of the protection of children is that since there are a lot of changes occurring here on Twitter, I figured if we wanted to, we could try and bring attention to this now more than ever because since Elon Musk has come in, there's been a whole bunch of fuckery about $8 a month to keep a check mark or whatever. Things that in the big scheme are not important compared to situations of abuse like we're talking about now. So if there's a time when we should super amplify this problem on Twitter, I'd say it's now. Do I have a lot of faith that's going to be changed? No but nonetheless, it's worth a shot. I don't have a hashtag in mind as of right now. I do think what we could try doing is highlighting this problem to Twitter, tagging Elon Musk, tagging whoever you think is helpful and just bombarding, blowing shit up until this problem gets dealt with because it's been years, nothing's changing. The only thing we're getting in terms of updates are just new fucking disgusting hashtags that put people in danger, more people in psychological danger as well. I truly am beside myself that we are still in the year 2022 having this conversation as if it's not obvious, as if protocols shouldn't have been put in place in the first place, but no, no, we're too worried about people being suspended for impersonating Elon Musk, yet, yet, all the minors are going unprotected, all the pedophiles are just running rampant, and that is just la-di-da, I guess. Let's make some noise on Twitter, let's make this known, let's see if something can finally change. As much as I'm aware that our collective faith in the mainstream media is probably at an all-time low, I do think that if this is a topic we continue to bring up, we continue to push the conversation and force for it to happen, no matter how uncomfortable that may be, hopefully the idea is that Twitter will put some policies in motion, will at least do something to put some protective guards out there for minors, ideally then other companies that are having similar issues would follow suit or would at least invest time into finding solutions and looking into ways to prevent this from happening at all. And sadly, for a lot of these companies, it has to be public pressure or else they are not interested unless it affects their PR and their general image. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you to my patrons as always, and I'll catch you guys next time.